I remember seeing this before, a long time ago. Whoa, what happened here last night? First, look around, figure out what happened. I ended up drinking alone. So who brought that second glass? Ugh. Did I do this? Sorry, Nick. I finally beat Nick's high score. <sighs> I wish he were here to take it back. What knocked this clock off the pillar? These were sent scattering. Someone thrown into them? Ripped. Did this happen yesterday or was it always like that? It seems there was a fight. That could explain the blood on my shirt. Does it mean that I was involved? I won't be able to find out without more evidence. Joel's hat. Maybe we ended up having it out after all. It might have fallen off the table. Seems some people got rowdy last night. are ruined. 
Looks like they were knocked over, then stepped on. DG. Dennis's initials. Was he involved in whatever happened? Wouldn't surprise me. The pot was completely shattered. Looked like it might have been kicked. Could be the same blood that was on my shirt. Definitely not the wake Nick would have wished for. What a mess. Hope this wasn't me. Hugh's business card. Wonder why it's here. I think I've seen enough to put together the pieces of what happened last night. Just gotta think it through. At least I can always count on this place to make sense. Now to work out what happened while I was blacked out last night. I just need to think it through logically, throw out impossibilities. Until only the truth is left. I know I got into a fight, but it could have played out in many different ways. I have to think it through, find out what really happened. My memory ends here, but there's two glasses. Who was here with me? I was drinking on my own when someone approached me. I can't remember who it was, but I know we got into a fight, obviously. figure out how the fight went, I should figure out who my assailant was. Something hit the pillar with enough force to make the clock fall. A person thrown into the pillar would do it. Looks like not even the memorial board was spared by the brawl. That could be it, but I still have to figure out who was sitting next to me. doesn't fit with the thing I found. That's Dennis's. I definitely have the complete picture now. You know, the man who talks to himself has an idiot for an Fuck audience. Fuck off, Dennis. <laughs> I see why you have so many friends left in town. Yeah, you would know about that. At least my best friend never slept with my ex. Hey, who do you blame more, huh? The backstabbing asshole or the bitch who... Don't talk 
about Anna or Nick that way. You think you know who Nick was, Mr. Perfect? Give me a break. You have no idea. No one in this town does. What are you talking about? I'll show you. But not here. Sam. Meet me later at Sam. the- Ethan is coming back in through the front. At least I think it's him. You think it's him? I can't actually tell if you can't tell. What I know for sure is if it's Ethan, he may not be happy to find you here. So I strongly suggest you leave. And if you don't, well, tell him you're here to apologize about last night. You trashed up his bar and then broke in. I don't have time to lose explaining myself to Ethan. Of course. I come back on the town's Miner's Day celebration. Well, you always did have great timing. No time to dwell on that. Focus. You tried Dennis's cell phone. No answer. So what now? Ask around, see if anyone's seen Dennis today. Maybe see if anything jogs my memory. I've heard worse plans. Basswood's small. If Dennis came through Main Street, someone saw him. The perfect toy for a kid who only had imaginary friends. Maybe Kathy will know something. Or that new pharmacist. Yo, get out the way! You move. I'm the one coming in. Shh, fuck you. That's enough! <laughs> Kathy and Hugh were both at the wake. I should talk to them. He looks like those doctors you see on commercials. Ah, Samuel. Sorry about Richard. He's always a little on edge. I'm surprised to see you up and about after the night you had. Honestly. I was afraid you'd end up like your friend. You were quite inebriated. Yeah, and I have quite the hangover to show for it. <sighs> not my finest hour. I would say not, after your barroom brawl. I did my best to prevent you from following that other man outside, and I tried to get you to hand over your keys, but you would have none of it. Sorry about that. The man I had a fight with, Dennis. Have you seen him today? Seen him? No. No, can't say I have. Thanks anyways. That article you wrote, it's done this town a lot of good. <laughs> How do you figure? The mine was a band-aid on a torn artery. 
Sometimes. Doing what is unpopular is still the moral choice. You probably believe that. I'd offer you something for that hangover. But I find, in some cases, time is the best medicine. A pill pusher who doesn't want to push pills. That's a new one. Everything is poison. All that matters is the dose. Now you have a good one, young man. Was there anything else you needed, by the way? I have to ask, why move here, of all places? You know, here, Basswood. A blink and you miss this town. People move out of Basswood, not in. The town I used to work in had a hundred other pharmacies in it. No, oh, you'd make sales, but you don't get to know anyone ever. Plus, if I'm being honest, I always imagined I'd retire in a small mountain town. Samuel, I saw you talking to Walter. Can you ask him something from me? Sure thing. What is it? I knew I could count on you. I was hoping the Basswood Jungle could run a piece about me. You see, some of the older folks see me as an outsider still. Can't say I'm surprised. I'll try and remember to ask next time I talk to him. I really appreciated the chat, but I'm afraid it's time I get back to work. Do come see me again. Still here after all these years. She followed Nick to Basswood, but never liked it. Hey, Kathy. Yo, oh, Sam. What can I do you for? So, the wake. I, um... Uh, none of us were on our best behavior. Nick would have been happy you showed up, no matter how anything else went. I left early myself to go check on Joan. Did you have to say that fantasy about her father being murdered was real? That's not what I... I just want her to be a little girl, not a little Sam Higgs. Sneaking around and getting into trouble. And now all she can talk about is how you're going to prove that she's right. Sorry. I know it's not your fault, but I just don't... I don't... I don't know what to do with her. She's my daughter. And I feel like I'm losing her. I gotta go. If the boss sees me John instead of working, I'll get an earful. No one in here was much help. Three boxes of codeine, five tubes of anti-inflammatory gel. Sam, I'm busy. <laughs>